Hi Natasha. Hi. Yes, how are you doing? I'm great. Yeah? I'm great. <laughs> good, you. good, good. So yeah, so thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Of course. Yeah, and yeah. you know, to kind of share what you're doing with your magazine and just kind of sharing in our vision mm -hmm. of kind of uniting the black people together with yeah. our Afro global vision. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So yeah, so yeah, so as the creator of great of Growing Pains, mm -hmm. okay, of the web series that you created, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um if ever, if anyone hasn't watched it before, okay, um please describe what kind of web series it is, please. I think Growing Pains is basically um, a show that shows um, what it's like growing up in London. Mm -hmm. um, shows that it's a small community, no matter where you're from in London, everyone knows each other. Yeah. And shows the complexities of how everyone's lives are really entwined. Mm -hmm. Whether you know someone or like your brother could know someone, your sister could know someone that you know. And it just really explores various social issues mm -hmm. of uh, what we go through under the age of 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Perfect. Okay, so how did you come up with the idea of Growing Pains? Do you know what? I used to watch, like, when I was watching TV, there was nothing that I could relate to. Mm -hmm. um, Top Boy was out back then. I mean, other than that, there wasn't much that I could personally relate to. And I was like, do you know what? I want to create something that I would want to watch. Yes. So that's how Growing Pain started, basically. It's kind of, a lot of the issues where we started were um, based on people, my social circle. Mm -hmm. um, a bit exaggerated at times, <laughs> but it was based on my social circle and um, what we went through when we were a lot younger. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I know that, that the third series is coming out soon, okay. Um, so when can we expect to see it so season three will be released mid-november so about three weeks from now okay three weeks from now i would say yeah okay perfect look forward to it <laughs> <laughs> right um so some of your car some of your class your characters even <laughs> are dealing with you know very serious issues obviously like body dysmorphia mm -hmm. and being raped stuff yeah. like this okay um how hard was it to film these, these scenes I think the rape part was was more it, it was it was difficult. I mean, I didn't actually film mm -hmm. her being raped, and I was very conscious of that. I thought that um, sometimes we don't have to speed through people and actually show them the scene. Being Everything, raped. no, of course, yeah, mm. but um, it's implied, and obviously everybody knows that that's what happened. Yeah, um, but um, it's an issue that I felt needed to be touched on yes. because. It's all about, you know, the the whole balance between she didn't say no, is it rape? Yeah. Like, that is huge. And it's like, you know, she was still raped. Mm. It's not, it, it's still not okay. Yes. Um, it caused a lot of debate online. No, it, yes, it did. It did. It did. And it's like, it was great because it was like, well, was it rape? Mm. You know, and these are the type of things that we really need to bring awareness to. It's true. And um, that's my aim throughout the show is to bring all these issues that we go through and and really put it on a platform where we can be like, is that right? Mm -hmm. Is this okay? What is right about it? What's wrong about it? And that's all I'm trying to invoke is just provoke conversation and bring mm -hmm. awareness. Yeah, because some people, I guess they might think there's some sort of a grey area yeah, especially with, with the rape thing. Yes. That was like pretty tough. No, it was. You yes. know, um, some people, um, very a small amount of people did see the, the the guy who did it, that he wasn't one because she didn't say no and she was kind of, to some people, leading him on. Mm -hmm. But she was actually just being friendly. And I think like that whole friendly, mm. like yes. friend zone, yes. it, it's like a very, it's a fine line and you know it, it was very yeah. interesting at the time it was like i guess when someone says no they say no yeah yeah, yeah. and that's it yeah you know and that's she it. didn't she didn't say yes exactly <laughs> so that's it yeah thank you <laughs> okay okay so natasha if someone wanted to star in your web series okay how would they 
go about doing that, approaching you? I think that, that's a good question. Because <laughs> a lot of people these days have been um, contacting me via social media, mm -hmm. my emails, you know, even in person when I meet them. And I think what, what someone should do if they're really serious is to perhaps email the director. Okay. And, show their body of work, send links to previous things, mm -hmm. send a little message of what kind of person you are, why you want to do this. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's a, it shows that you're really serious. Yes. I think just messaging me saying that you want to be in it isn't enough. You need to show that you've taken that extra step to show that like, I really want to be in your show and this is what I've done. And maybe why you feel like your input would really benefit the show. Okay, perfect, thank you. <laughs> okay, so your scenes, your scenes seem so real, to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. That I saw on your Facebook page uh, whilst filming that one of your actors was arrested, actually, yeah. for having...